Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another skateboard, though boarding beginners. Today, I'm gonna show you the best way to buy a skateboard, you know? So, so the best way to buy a skateboard is just to uh, buy it from, uh, from the internet. So, best place, let's show, show you. So before I do that, I recommend just getting one like this. This is what I got. I got this from uh, NHS for $99. Because I didn't know any better, you know what I mean? Uh, just complete 7775. Um, yeah, comes with uh, bullet trucks and some, you know, 52 millimeter wheels, stuff like that. This 775. So that's what I recommend if you like six feet under six feet is 775 and then maybe eight feet and up above maybe a, a eight inch so seven seven five inch six feet and under and eight inch for six feet and above all right the reason i said i didn't know any better is because i bought it from the nhs you know i was trying to support santa cruz skateboards Best place to buy is from Zoomies. Okay. So we're gonna go Zoomies. The reason is because Zoomies has the best shit. Okay. What happened is they have free shipping. Okay. And a lot of times when they have uh completes um they also have like this coming so labor labor day is um is a lab is, i think it's labor day or memorial day okay so you can always go to the sales and here it's like shoes and all that shit but what i do is i like to go to skate right and then go to uh to complete so you have skate and you have okay, let's see. you go skate here shop all skate um, you go to complete skateboards Cause I remember there was a uh, on one of these weekend special weekend they had a element board for fifty dollars fifty percent off usually they are hundred so here so like I said you go uh, under eight inch. Seven eight seven seven five seven six seven five whatever if you're um under six feet to me and you get an eight eight point oh whatever uh you know so here see regular but you do like from lowest to highest instead of highest to lowest okay price lowest to highest okay right now. Yeah, the cheapest one you get is uh, seventy nine dollars. That's still, you know, still cheaper than see seven seventy five here. Seventy nine bucks free shipping. Get it now, okay? So this is the best place to buy skateboard for beginners. See, they have a lot of skateboards, girl. Whatever you want, whatever size you want, they have it. But I recommend like seven seventy five. You know. Uh, for average for regular people for regular under uh, 8 inch 8 um, whatever 8 um, 6 feet see so here uh, 79 bucks you get a hard supply see so you got um, okay yeah so for a real board 89 so I would get either element, <clears throat> you get element, you get primitive, 89, see, oh, everything else, 
So all the elements are 79. You get a plan B for 79. It, it, you know, it doesn't matter. They're all the same shit. Okay? They all have the good parts, good everything. If I was going to get it, I would probably get a... Uh, I'm going to go for a 775. You can go here. Size. I go 775 here. That's what I would get. And you come down here. These are all 775. And it's just a matter of price versus uh, the brand, you see. So, money, money change, plan B, heart supply. Um, those are all 79.99. 80 bucks plus tax might be like $90 with tax. I like Skate Mafia, but they're 100. Um, yeah, it's up to you. So here, here, here. <clears throat> and right up here, we can always do low, low to high. So, best bet here is probably Element or Plan B. See, Plan B needs to be 124.95. So, if you look at Plan B, since it's uh, 124.95, see? Now 80 bucks. And you get a, uh, <clears throat> hopefully they link some shit that they get, they are also available in this size. That's a sick one. I like that one. Let's see. See, that one's one, if you want this color, it's one twenty four ninety five. So yeah, go back. Go back to that one. Yeah, that one's on sale. See, seventy nine ninety five. <clears throat> so sometimes they, uh, Sometimes they, um, you know, like, give you a uh, uh, description. Oh, right here. Description. You have, and uh, I bought the original skateboard deck complete from Plan B featuring a dotted, di dotted design along the bottom of the ply and vibrant red, yellow, and blue tone throughout. Pre-assemble and ready to ride. The Plan B skateboard complete is finished with silver trucks. Look at that. You get silver trucks. You get a uh, white 99 hardness but, and bearings, hardware. They don't tell you uh, the trucks, the bearings, or the wheels, or the grip tape. Okay. So here it tells you, uh, you get the 775 here. Abdominal. You get the graphics on the top or the bottom ply. You get the seven ply construction, slight concave, plan B trucks. Oh, you get plan B trucks. Okay, you get plan B wheels, 52 millimeters, 95A. Uh, a back five bearings. Stealth, the brand stealth bearings. Black grip tape applied to top, okay. And comes with fully assembled, ready to ride, out of the box. No, colors and graphics may vary at image. Okay? So here, you have a uh, Plan B wheels and Plan B trucks. It's different from this description here. I think this one is uh, with the silver trucks here. Okay? It's uh, different. But, who knows? You know, they might... If you zoom in, they might, you know what I mean, like show if it's silver trucks or not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's good quality shit, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's the best bet. So that's what it looks like. Oh, here we go. Uh, I can't see the wheels or trucks. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't matter. If it's uh you don't get silver whatever uh, you know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's the best way to get uh buy a skateboard. Right here. So, if you get that, you go get it now. Add your bag. View my bag. 
<clears throat> free shipping tax so you pay all this shit different ways to pay ship to me or you can pick up but you know where it depends you can pick it up but just ship it <clears throat> okay pay with credit They'll tell you how much the tax is. <clears throat> You're saving $45. Alright. Okay. For this board. Yeah. Look at that. 45 bucks you save. Okay. Alright. Now that we got the board. I'll show you my board. Okay. So if you get that plan B board. It'll be this size. Here. About this size. Okay. All right. Let me see. Yeah, it'll be about this size. Seven and uh, seven seven five. If you're six feet under, okay. And wheels are probably gonna be somewhere between fifty and fifty two, somewhere around there. The trucks, just random trucks. Uh, this one's. Every company have their own truck, so this one's from uh, NHS, and I have, uh, they call bullets. And they call bullet trucks. I painted all that shit on it, but anyway. Um, you get some, some like this similar. Okay. And then whatever, I mean, I ride my trucks loose, so. Yeah, you get, you get some like this. To about 80 bucks, 85, yeah, about 90 dollars, okay. But like I said, sometimes you catch them on sale sometimes, uh, a good day, like the, I told you one time it was 50 bucks, so 60 bucks were complete. And then usually, good urethane, the urethane is good, they're not like the uh, Amazon or the um, Target and all that shit. Alright. <clears throat> so... If I made this video about the uh, 1980s or 80s or 90s, it'd be different. I would say uh, go to the skateboard shop, you know. Skateboard shop. I always use the word skateboard. I never use a uh, skate, you know what I mean. This is how it's uh, something like called board, skating board, and that shit. None of them always say, you know, they always say skateboarding, you know. Except my friend, uh, he had a shop in uh, Hearst in 2005, Hearst, uh, Texas call it the index skate the, the index skateboarding you know the index skateboarding shop anyway like I said if I if I did this in the 80s or 90s I would recommend to go to uh, you know skateboarding shop right <clears throat> the whole the whole point of a sk the skateboarding shop is okay is uh, you wanted to support your local local skateboarding shop is because um, back then a lot of uh, you know people that worked at the skateboarding shop had a uh, they you know a lot of them skateboard um, and they have like a skateboarding interest in mind. You go there, they have a TV. You can watch videos. You can hang out, kick it, kick it at the. Uh, you get at the uh, at the shop or whatever, or uh, you know, um, you know, hang out, meet your friends, and all that shit. But nowadays, <clears throat> it's this rare, rare shops that has that. One in mind would be my friend Trent and Ed, Cowtown in Arizona. Like they, they do it right. You know, they what they do is. A lot of them would have like the same thing with my friend Damien, the index skate shop. Unfortunately, that shop went under. I don't know what happened. Um, you know, like during Christmas, they would collect skateboards and stuff like that and help out the needy. You know, um, on holidays, like for Cowtown, they have like uh, when they do artists, you know, like someone paint like this and shit on the wall or whatever canvas and stuff. They they would sponsor those guys. That band sponsor, you know, the band playing and give them give out, you know, products and merchandise. 
they always go to different um because there's a lot of skate skateboarding parks in Arizona, just like in California. They go to these different parks, they throw contests, they give out products, you know what I mean? Give out to the community. And it's rare. Uh Cowtown in Arizona, maybe Tampa. You know the Tampa uh up here, uh the skate park. So and then there was a lot of skateboard shops, skateboarding shops, they would do that. They would sponsor a little contest here and there to, to, to help out the community, you know? But I've been buying skateboards and seeing a lot of uh, skateboard, skateboarding shops nowadays. It's no different from a retail store, from a fucking uh, Spencer's to a, uh, you know what I mean? What's that one shit? They have like a lot of piercing. There's um, not there's Spencers and then there's um, but it's all the punk rock shit. Like anyway, uh, yeah. Same thing with Zoomies. Same shit. But look at the the difference with Zoomies is they always have good sales, free shipping. You know what I mean? You can't beat that. Cause shipping costs a lot to fucking mail shit. Cause I, I, I when I moved here, I throw a lot all my skateboard shit away because the shipping was so much. So nowadays, there's no point to support your local skateboarding shop at all. Um, like I said, there there are exceptions, but the best way for beginners and that I recommend is. If you're under six feet, I'm five, I'm five, seven and a half, almost like five, eight with my shoes on. So I'm five, eight, and I ride seven and a half, I mean seven, three quarter. You can actually ride seven and a half, you know what I mean, if you want. Um, I'm riding 50 millimeter wheels, you know, and whatever these trucks they come with. They're all the same shit, good bushing, you know, the bushing, everything the same. So for uh, eight, 90 bucks, right? And maybe eight feet, maybe eight, and maybe eight inch. You know what I mean. So the whole thing is, uh, hold on. I have to do this segment because, you know, I <laughs> I done video where an hour long and the shit just shut up on me and I had to start over. It's not fun. I like to do everything like raw, you know, live and shit. Just one take, you know. Anyway, uh, as far as uh, yeah, for beginners, that's the best bet. I mean, you you could go buy uh, I mean, even if you go buy from uh, Big Five or uh, Walmart or anything, that it's still gonna cost you for a pretty good one with like. Aluminum bear, uh, aluminum trucks, you know, not plastic trucks, cost you at least 35 bucks, 30, 40 dollars. So if you double that, you get urethane wheels, ABEX 5 bearings. I know ABEX is all gimmicks and shit. That, all that means is just the impact of something like the your, your bearing hitting the, the, the bearing hitting with the impact this way. That's ABEX. So where the shield doesn't uh, smash under. The thing with skateboarding is all your skill is from you. The skateboard you gotta have a you know an all right you know skateboard, but ninety nine percent is you as is the for the skills. So you can even, you can ride this board. You can do you pretty much like, like do any tricks, ollie over anything. It's up to you. You know how much time you put in and everything. And like I said, there's there's no reason to support your local skateboard shop anymore because it's just a retail store. You go in, um, most of the people that work there are like family members or, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, as far as like different sizes of skateboards, different wheels, different colors, uh, all that shit is all preference, preferences, you know? like. You want to ride park, you want to ride street, you want to ride... That's how it was in the 80s. They had a a street board, they had a mid, they had a small, they had a mid size, and then they had a street board, they had a freestyle board, which is really skinny. 
and then they had a vert board for vert skating. Okay, but then you you realize as skateboarding progresses that you are all those sizes. You don't need different sizes. Okay, the reason I, I used to I used to ride uh, cause standard right now in these days is about eight point two five. This is seven point seven five. Okay, so so eight inch eight and a quarter is like standard size right now. So I was riding that, and then I was riding eight and a half, and then I went to eight seven five. But then I realized one of my friends, Jeff Jefferson, he was riding a skateboard this size right here and he was doing like all kinds of fucking tricks man like then I was thinking because after this after 775 and after 52 millimeters okay and in the 50 whatever trucks 126 for indies 120 something for fucking thunder uh, ace would be like I don't know whatever right for this size for 775 you realize that all that shit is all extra weight that you don't need. Okay? That's it. It's all the weight you don't need. When you get good enough, and you, you know, sponsors and pros or whatever, they, all that shit doesn't matter, the weight. But to me, it's still like, you know, the weight size. If you're starting off, 775, 6 foot and under, 8 inch, but maybe 6 foot and over. 52 millimeters. It's perfect. You don't need any bigger than that. Because 99% is all you to do the tricks. Any tricks you want, it's all you. 99% is you. But as far as to get a uh, best skateboard for me, is get it from Zoomies. Sometimes you can check at Tactics or Warehouse, but those guys, once in a while, they. Uh, the, thing, the reason with uh, the thing with tactics is uh, they do like snowboarding and shit and snowboard is like a thousand percent more than skateboarding so they don't really need skateboarding shit so they don't really throw the sales for skateboarding but once in a while you can find it there but throughout all the years you can always count on zoomies to get your shit so in closing so in closing <coughs> Back in the 90s, 80s and 90s, there used to be, uh, um, ah, fuck, they're so like irrelevant that I, I even forgot the names already. Back then it was a mail order, um, from, uh, let me go look it up. Yeah, back in the day, in the 80s and 90s, there used to be a, a mail order called CCS. Skateboarding catalogs. Skateboarding. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, this right here. This, this place with the CCS here. Let me go back. CCS logo image yeah yeah right here CCS uh, let me see the catalog catalog right there okay yeah so you used to get these uh the CCS catalogs see <laughs> look <laughs> they sound for ten ten dollars 2011 <laughs> ah shit it's crazy um there you go yeah so what you do is you can order you could you can call them right you can call them and then they have uh, inside um yeah inside there's like papers okay, let's go outside yeah so they have those catalogs, <clears throat> they have this thing called um, COD. COD? <clears throat> no, it's not Call of Duty, the fucking game. It's called Cash on Delivery. Because we didn't have no credit card or anything back then, you know, me and my friend Richard, we lived in this small town, Clovis, New Mexico, um, small town. <clears throat> 
thirty thousand people, and we're you know in high school and shit. So you fill out the that little thing in the, inside. You fill out your address and all that shit. And then in the in the catalog, the whole catalog, or at least half of it, would have all these skateboards, completes. You know, and then you write down whatever the number is for it is on the the order blank, the order that you fill. And it's funny because a lot of them, you can tell they uh, they, they pay people that that doesn't skateboard. Cause sometimes me and, me and my friend Richard would look on that catalog and see how we, we would guess like how many boards they would put the trucks upside down. Yeah, the trucks would be actually yeah the trucks would be upside down. So what they did is they 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 hire all these people to put fucking completes together that that doesn't skateboard. You know, they just pay whatever five dollars an hour. Yeah, and we'd say we'd guess and then we just laugh. We're like, oh shit, look at that. We got like you know four, or at least five or at least five. Average was like upside down, and we go through them and just laugh and shit. That was cool, you know, to have something like that to look at. And it, it takes, I think, about two weeks or so. I think it takes a week to get there, and like a week to come back or something. Maybe a month, maybe a month. I don't know. So we would like figure out the time, and then me and my friend, we we it's a small town, so we we would chase the. The UPS man down. When we see him around. We we see him come around on three. So we skateboard around the whole neighborhood, look for him, and we had, hey, you have a package for you know, thirty one oh one Mandel. That's why I was looking at um, thirty one oh one uh, Mandel. Uh, you know, street and shit like that. And they're like, yeah, we got it. And then he's like, oh here. So then that cash on delivery. So the skateboard was still the same back then, about sixty bucks plus. So the cash on delivery is five dollars. So the skateboard boy is uh, 60 or whatever, we give him 65 bucks, you know, to the mailman. And I guess they don't do that shit now because, you know, all the apps and all that shit now, you know what I mean? Like, plus the mailman. It's funny, they always use the excuse where like, oh, they can't have cash, like um, Pizza Hut delivery and all that shit because they might get mugged and all that shit. It's all lies. The UPS man used to have thousands and thousands of dollars because a lot of shit, because I remember I had uh, sometimes I would get my medicine for my when I got the kidney transplant, and I would have to pay uh, twenty percent, which is two hundred dollars of a thousand. The medicine was a thousand dollars. He'd give me the thing, and then I give him two hundred dollar cash. You know what I mean? Like mailman just have shitload of money with them from cash on delivery back in before the internet, the apps, and all that shit. So it was good, you know. Everything was cash, which I believe in. Cash is king, you know. <clears throat> so that was the way we were ordering <clears throat> skateboards because I was living in that small town and the, the next biggest town was uh, east of us which is Amarillo, Texas or Lubbock, Texas. That's where they had the the skateboard, you could say skateboard shop but it's in the mall just like a Zoomies, you know, like a Zoomies now. But they would have it in the mall and we would go there, you know, drive like two hours, you know, because I was the oldest so I would be able to drive. <clears throat> And that's how we were getting our skateboards. So, <clears throat> back then, it was a, you know, a niche, I guess you could say. Rarely anyone, you know, skateboard. I was like the first one in that town <clears throat> to ride a skateboard. I mean, you could buy, I think they still sold them at like Kmart and shit. Back then, Kmart was huge, you know. There was no Walmart back then, but Kmart was king. You see how, all, you see the, see the, you see the, what do you call it? The pattern here? Kmart, where are they? Out of business. You know what I mean? Like CCS, like irrelevant, like no one. Plus, if you go to their website, I didn't go through it, but most of the shit is like Nike shoes, all shoes. Like 90% uh, of the shit is skateboard shoes. Well, not skateboard shoes, just, yeah, skateboard. I guess you could say skateboard shoes. But like, you know what I mean? New Bound, yeah. So like 10%, maybe, maybe, I'm talking, maybe five, nah, probably like 2% skateboards. Because the last CCS uh, catalog that I had, I think like two page, <clears throat> seriously, two page skateboard. And then they had like a couple with ads, like Baker or whatever, a couple other after that, Vans, whatever. But for their own shit, two pages. When half of the catalog back in when we used to order was half the, the catalog, was all skateboards and the pictures were like this big so they were 
probably hundreds of skateboards in the catalog and we would pick out and that's how we did a, a order of skateboards so to me <clears throat> right now the zoomies right now is the CCS of the past and the great thing is everything is instantly you know what I mean you order boom you, you get to see you get to they tell you what day it's coming everything right all paid for everything and it comes straight to your door everything you don't have to go chase the UPS man down but we like doing it you know back then it, all that shit was it's all part of I'm glad I, I was in that era you know so as far like I said this board perfect for everything you know what I mean? Everything else, extra weight. You want to go fast? Push faster. You want to slide? Go faster. You want to grind? Go faster. None of that fucking wax shit. You know, don't be fucking waxing shit. Ninety-nine <clears> percent. <throat> it's all you. You can tell someone. You can tell pros that like has that old era. Like the uh, Dennis Bruzinis. The way his style skates so fast, right? And stuff like that, okay? You can tell that's from the old style, you know? And you can see like a lot of the new style, the new kids and everything. Like they go so slow, okay? And there's nothing wrong with it, but you know what I mean? For me, I, I'm always like old school, old style. So you want an Ollie? <clears throat> Bam, you know, you pop. You know what I mean? But for more weight, you know, you have to pop. It's still that extra weight. It's not that much, but still. So this is the best way to buy a skateboard. Okay? That's why I love, love Zoomies is because it reminds you of CCS back in the day, you know? And that's why I buy pretty much like the next, I don't need it. You know, I'm still beginners. And this board is still good, you know? And then everything else after that is like upgrade, you know? Upgrade it to your preference. If you want red wheels, yellow wheels, bigger wheels, whatever, it's up to you. But 99% is you. There's no excuse, you know, for hard work. And every trick you can do, you can do it on this board. Every trick. It's up to you. And right there, you know, about <clears throat> And you know, it lasts you a long time. I mean, I have this board, I think, for like five years. I actually bought it for my, my granddaughter, Emily. And then, uh, you know, things happened, and I ended up, I got this board. I mean, it's not all of it. Like, the board's not the original. The board I, I got it was a 7.5. This one was a 7.75 from another somewhere else, and I just, you know, I just wrote her name down in her memory of her, my granddaughter, Emily. <clears throat> she's not dead or anything, she's just got taken away from, you know, other shit. Because her mom, like, fucked up, you know. She was uh, five years old. The last time I seen her, now she's eight years old. Eight or nine years old, so. She'll be nine in October. I never seen her, so. I keep that dream alive, you know, of her. So I got this board, and. There's no need to change. I'm not doing anything crazy, you know what I mean? It's always having fun, you know. Alright, so yeah. That's my take on it. And uh, yeah, so. If you have any comment, whatever, it's put on down. If not, then uh, thanks for watching. Always, always keep on rolling. You know why? Running water don't go stale, baby. Always have, always have fun, alright? Skateboarding, ah oh, man, it's the best. So fun, man. Even I don't do nothing. Just, just sitting here, just spinning the wheels and and shaking the trucks and just posing like only dream of a trick I can do. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Just that, like even that, it's like or just rolling around, making that scratchy noise. I don't know. So awesome. Skateboarding is the best. And that's it. I'll be keeping the underground lid for you and me. Alright, enjoy. Alright, so it's uh, 5.15 in the morning. Okay. Let's move here. My computer here. 
And this weekend is Labor Day weekend. So I noticed there's a lot even more uh, specials. Um, So as you can see here, okay. So as you can see here in the calendar, here as you can see it's uh, okay. See it's 4:57 a.m. Friday, September 1st, 2023. Okay. So we go to Google, type in skateboard, complete. So here you have, look at that, this just came on, $44 each from 110 Of course you have here, uh, 38 for this one, retrospective or whatever. You can have this one for 40, which is a 7.3. 44 for, uh, from TM Skateboards. 35 from Starter Wood. Okay? Yeah. You keep going, uh... From Nick's, I don't know, USA Skate Shop. 52 from Globe. Okay? 44 part of Reiki. Paul Rodriguez Paul Rodriguez 8 inch $44 See that? Okay You have uh, Almost Bright Light $62.99 $59.99 for Grizzly Stage Dive Yeah you got uh, 50 bucks for Known Pro Like these are all Grizzlies from Grizzlies from Tilly's here's from Tilly's which is the uh, you know like a kind of like a uh, Spencer's I hear Jack's remember I was telling you 50 bucks for the element here Jack's a uh, soap shop 50 bucks okay so uh, so the cheapest I found is the from primitive <laughs> Look at this. Here. Okay. So go you got one hour, one day, one day, two hours, one minute, two twenty seconds. Hopefully an in free shipping if you order one twenty, hundred and twenty dollars or more. So you go to the sales and go here to completes. There you go. All these are forty four bucks each. Except for this one, it's a 7.3 Which is for, you know, a little weight, like really, really like skinny For $40 So you have 8, 8, 8, 7.5 Okay, and 7, 7, 5, 7, 7, 5, and 8 So I already bought it Here you go Here you go As you can see there Okay it is hundred forty one dollars. Right? Yeah. See there. So I got three. I got three skateboards. I got this one. I got two of this for seven 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 five. I got two of them. And I got one of this one, 775. So, 88, 144, 132, free shipping. Almost $10 tax, it comes out to be 144. So I got this one. This one here. Which is this one. Yeah, this one right here I got.
So you got an 8 inch or 775. I got the 8 inch. Oh, duh. Oops, I got that. Oh, yeah, I got that one. Okay. I got two of those, and then I got this one. Got one of these. Paul Rodriguez. Yeah. Guess I should have got the. um... I think this is just a team one, right? Primitive code complete, yeah. I should have got the two of the Paul Rodriguez. But say I got two of the butterfly ones. Yeah. I was so excited I didn't even know the other one was a Paul Rodriguez. P Rod, this one. Yep. <sighs> That's the Paul Rodriguez one. Yeah. We well, think it doesn't tell you the description of the trucks or nothing like that, you know. There you go. This is when catching a butterfly. <laughs> yeah. There you go. My two of them. Yep. Right there. So yeah. But the whole video is any time of the year you can always catch good deals on zoomies. But certain if you want to wait to a holiday okay you get a really good deal so here you see I got three skate skateboard completes for 141 the price of one skateboard I got three so yeah I bought that yep yeah so there you go yeah so if you catch the sale like I did right now got a great price that's how you that's the best way to buy the skateboard. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Again. Keep on rolling, baby. Running water on good stale, alright? Have fun, always.